So there are some things you're actually not allowed to pray. Um, it's a good thing, not a bad thing, trust me. Uh, you are not allowed to pray as if God doesn't care about what you're going through. It's just not allowed. He insists that you pray, give us this day our daily bread. And daily bread includes everything that has to do with the support and needs of this body and life. God actually cares about what you're going through. Um, it's not just for the sake of this one thing like we tend to, because like when you're hungry, all you really want is some food. Um, but rather, your body matters to God so much that he would, he would get one of his own. God became man to enter this creation, to care about the things of this world, to redeem the things of this world, to redeem you in your body so that you can hope for more than just, you know, going to heaven one day. But on the last day, you will rise in your body. There will be a resurrection. That also means that your body has value today. It's not all there is. There, There is that last day. And God's will is to bring you to that last day, not simply, you know, get you a cheeseburger so you can go on suffering, but, but rather to bring you through this valley of the shadow of death and under the glories of life everlasting. But even while he does it, you're not allowed to pray as if he doesn't care about what you're going through. So we pray, give us this day our daily bread, not because it'll make God do it, but because uh, it, it helps us realize that uh, God certainly gives daily bread to all people, even evil people, even without our prayer. But we would uh, pray that he would lead us to realize this and receive our daily bread with thanksgiving, that, that God is not sort of holding out on you. Um, even when you look around and, and you find want, um, you get to recognize that that's not okay, but God also recognizes that that's not okay. And so he promises more than just sort of giving you something that somebody else can come along and take, but to care for you and ultimately bring you to a place where there is no lack, there is no want, there is no, there is no need. Um, you're not allowed to pray as if God doesn't mourn the sins of this world the sufferings of this world. He enters it to bear it himself, to suffer, want himself, to fast, to go without, to bleed, and to die. But it's to save you. So you're not allowed to pray as if you don't matter.